Ms. Bishop Gail Lee Oliver. I'm the pastor of Greater Life Family Church. Welcome to Vision TV and welcome to Dream Big and Make It Happen Ministries. We want to thank God for who he is. Amen. Thank God for our brother Joshua Duong. I want to thank God also for Dr. Kazumba, uh, the Bills, Apostle Bills, HSBN, uh, KIT TV. Amen. Once again, welcome to Dream Big and Make It Happen Ministries. And once again, my name is Bishop Gail Oliver. I thank God for this opportunity to come before you. We are going to be discussing what God has given me to discuss with you this morning, uh, this evening, um, and that is simply faith. It is impossible to please God without faith. Amen. And so no further ado, I'm just going to sing a little bit of a song and then open up in prayer. We're going to get in the very word of God. Glory be to God. We thank God once again. Father, we thank you so much for your love, mercy, and your grace. We ask for forgiveness of our sins. We thank you, Lord God, for Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins, was buried, and rose on the third day. We thank you, Lord God, for calling us out of the darkness into your marvelous light. We thank you, Father, once again, for the Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide in your children. Uh, thank you for the Holy Spirit, who is God, working in and through us, preparing us for ministry. The Holy Spirit is not only God, but our teacher, our comforter, our counselor. We thank you for John, the sixth chapter, as the word says that we will all be taught by God. The words of Jesus Christ found in John, the sixth chapter. Amen. And if you read, uh, just read the whole chapter, but 43 to 46, verses 43 to 46. Lord, we thank you so much once again for your presence and the opportunity to preach and teach the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Be with us now, Lord God. Bless all those who are hearing, Lord God, paying attention and listening, listening, Lord God. We thank you for your words that, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So now, Lord God, as I in, uh, decrease, I pray that you will increase, Lord God, that people will hear the word of God and that their gift will be stirred up, Lord God, that your children, children would be fired up, Lord God, as you bless your children with revelation knowledge. We thank you, Lord God. Because only you can do what you do when you do what you do. Thank you now. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, let God show us amen. amen. And I'm just going to sing a little bit of a song, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. How many know he is Lord? He is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is Lord. So we say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We magnify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight we want to talk about faith. Amen. And we need to know that it is impossible to please God without faith. Uh, Hebrews, the 11th chapter, starting at verse 1, it says, Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Some may read, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith. This is what the ancients were commended for by faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command God spoke things into existence amen so by faith we understand that the universe was formed by God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible God spoke things into existence. Amen. Let there be and there was. Amen. So we need to understand that God is the creator. God is Elohim. Amen. The God who creates. Amen. The God that when he speaks, 
things have to come to pass. It has to happen. Remember the Bible from Genesis to Revelations was all inspired by God and approximately 40 writers wrote the word of God. God breathed and men wrote. Understand this, that God calls those things that are not as though they are. I want you to get an understanding of what this faith entails. And it is by faith. See, by faith you can move mountains. Hello. By faith you can make it in the water. The water can't even drown. You just ask the Israelites if they were able to walk through the Red Sea as it was part of they walked on dry land and those, uh, the enemies that tried to come after them, the water swallowed them up. God wants you to know by faith the fire cannot kill you. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego had to go through the fiery furnace. And can you imagine going through the fiery furnace? Jesus was in the fire with them. Whatever you're going through, the Lord wants you to know he's right there with you. He wants you to know he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He wants you to understand who he is. He is God. He is Elohim. Amen. He is our creator. He is the one that speaks and he makes things happen. I said he speaks and he makes things happen. It may not look like what it is when God speaks it, but you best believe it will uh, 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 turn into whatever he tells you. It will accomplish what he sends his word out to accomplish. His word, his word, his word has to accomplish. It cannot be sent out and not accomplish what he sends it out to do. Amen. His word, amen. We have to understand how powerful his word is. Amen. And we'll get to a little bit of more uh, uh, golden nuggets as we continue to move on. But I want you to understand the God we serve, the one and only true God, speaks things into existence. Amen. And so, even when he said in Genesis 1, verse 20, uh, I believe 26 or 27, let us make man. Hello. Man didn't make God. He said, let us make man. Understand. We have to understand that God is God. Okay. God doesn't bow down to us. We bow down to him. And God tells us out of the whole Bible, out of the 66 books in the Bible, he tells us it's impossible to please him without faith so understand also his word uh, written in the in the book of isaiah that his word cannot return unto him void okay it has to accomplish what it is sent out to do it has to do what his word says to do the word uh, things have to bow down to his word amen and i tell people if i'm at a a, a square table, God says it's a round, or I'm at a round table, it's going to be, he says it's going to be square. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen because he said it. He spoke it. Amen. Many a times, you got to understand there's the, the power that's in the word of God. There's power in having faith in God. You know, sometimes, you know, my wife usually uh, uh, gives me uh, the weather, what the weather's going to be like on Thursday or Friday or this weekend or whatever have you. And then let's say uh, people may say like we have, we're have, we having a, a parade, Black History Parade this Saturday. They say, I don't know, it's going to rain. I said, well, I don't know. I serve a God. If we pray, God knows how to hold back the rain. Amen. And I know I've seen it for myself. Amen. Uh, so you have to understand there's power in believing what God says. There's power in praying God's word back to him, reminding him of his word. Amen. And there's power in believing that you are who he says you are. Hear what I said. He, you are who he says you are. Do not allow anybody else's opinion of you become your reality. Amen. It's impossible to please God without faith. You have to believe that you are who he says you are. He is who he says. You got to believe that God is God. Amen. I want you to get that. You must believe and trust in God. Do not lean on your own understanding, but trust in the Lord with not 30%, 50%, 70%. Trust in God with all of your heart. You hear what I'm saying? Trust in God with all of, with all of your heart. So, uh, getting back to Hebrews 11, by faith we understand that the universe was formed, by, uh, formed at God's command so that what was seen was not made out of what was visible. Hello, help me somebody. By faith, Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as righteous. When God spoke well of his offerings, and by faith, Abel still speaks, even though he is dead. Hello. And so when we look at 
Abel being blessed by God. Why was Abel blessed by God? Because by faith, he gave a, a more excellent offering than Cain did. And Cain had the same opportunity to obey God's word. Abel should just simply obey. He knew what he had to bring. He knew what he had to bring. And so when it comes to uh, uh, obeying the Lord, he brought the right sacrifice because he simply obeyed what God had spoken to his daddy. Hello, help me somebody. And so when it comes to God telling us uh, 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 what to do and, 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 and uh, causing us or telling us that we need to obey his word, guess what? We need to obey his word because he cannot... Uh, uh, his word cannot return unto him void if he tells you give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together and running over shall men pour into your bosom for whatever measure you meet will be uh, it will be met back to you with all if he tells you to give and it shall be given unto you god cannot lie if he says tithe and and, and if you tithe and bring that tent back to the storehouse see he said open he said try me in this test me in this see if i will not open up the floodgates of heaven and pour you out a blessing you can't even contain See, God cannot see people say, oh, that's the old testament, this is the new testament. Those are excuses. Trust God, take him at his word by faith. Amen. That's all Abel did. He trusted God. Hear what I'm saying? He trusted God and brought the right sacrifice to God. Ain did his thing. Amen. Ain, uh, Cain rep uh, represents those people that think they have free will. Free will, it's not free will. If you read the book, it talks about self-will. And when you're uh, disobeying God's will, we call it disobedience. Hello. And disobedience is not a blessing. Disobedience will hurt your blessing. Amen. And so so you have to understand God is in the blessing program, but he tells you what you must do in order to walk in that blessing. You have to submit to his will. Jesus in the uh, garden says, Father, if it be thy will, take this, 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 uh, 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 take this, uh, what do you call it? The, um, help me, Jesus, help me, Lord. I'm having a junior moment. Forgive me real quick. But he said, take this cup of wrath away from me. Take this cup of anger away from me. And then he says, nevertheless, he didn't say nevertheless, not free will. He said, nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. God wants you to submit to his will. Hello, he does not call us out of the darkness into the marvel, uh, his marvelous light to do our own thing. And so when, as we're reading this, Abel was blessed by obeying God and bringing the right sacrifice to the Lord, and it was counted unto him as righteous as well. He's a righteous man. He's a righteous man. Cain had the opportunity, uh, opportunity to do the same thing. God said, why has your countenance fallen? If you do what your brother has done, will I not accept your sacrifice? Hello, now God came back to tell and told, ask Cain, why has your countenance fallen? Your brother did it right. Okay, It's not about personalities is not about emotions oh i can't stand him because god chose him no here's that same opportunity i gave him i'm giving to you you it got it was like, try it again come on bring me bring the right sacrifice i'll accept it but what it can do he let the flesh override the word of god self-will then he wind up killing his brother out of jealousy hear what i'm saying abel gave up a more excellent sacrifice. He simply obeyed God. And help, let me help you right here. Romans 12 verse 1 and 2. You who are listening. You who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You that believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Was buried and rose on the third day. God wants you. Not to be conformed, no longer be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed or changed by the renewing of your mind. Our minds need to be renewed. Hello, help me somebody. Remember, we're born in sin, shaped in iniquity. Our minds need to be re renewed. When, you ex when we, we accept Christ as Lord and Savior, we need to get in the word. We need to meditate on his word. We need to pray. We need to pray without ceasing. We need to ask God for, for help. Hello, ask God to be with us as we study his word. And when you hear the word being preached, amen, do not only be a hearer, but James 1.22 says, 
also be a doer of the word. Amen. The word of God. When you hear the word being preached, amen, your gift should be stirred up. Hello, help me somebody. I pray that your, st your gift is being stirred up right now and that God causes you and gives you a desire to want to obey his word, to obey it and operate in the spirit. Amen. Walk by faith and not by sight. The things we see with our 2020s don't look good. It don't look right. But if God says he's going to turn that situation around, you better trust God that he's going to turn that situ situation around. Many people have believed God uh, that, they, that, that God had the power to take cancer out of their body. And I got a lot of friends that had cancer, but the key word is had. God removed the cancer out of their body. I had plenty of friends that had a lot of time to do, but I serve a God that even if America says give them 10 years, God has the power to turn it into five. Hello, help me somebody. I just want to tell you about God. I had a, a friend, a couple of friends. Uh, that as a matter of fact one that was already divorced for about 12 years but God says what I have joined together let no man separate it uh, separate and so they got married again and they're married husband and wife amen can you imagine that being divorced for 12 years and God bring you back together hello God has the power to repair to restore to redeem aren't you glad that God has called you into his marvelous light out of the darkness into his marvelous light Hebrews 11 talks about Abel. Abel worshiped God. Amen. Abel worshiped God and he obeyed God. He bowed down to God. He obeyed his word. He worshiped God. And if you do not know, this is 2019 and God is calling for us to worship him in spirit and in truth. He says in John the fourth chapter, he's looking for people. He's looking for his children. He's looking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Stop being offended by the truth. Hello. I'm going to say it again. Stop being offended by the truth stop being offended by the word of god the the word of god basic instructions before leaving earth it's important to hear the word of god and to be doers of the word of god do not be offended by the word of god you got the holy ghost in you you're not supposed to be offended by the word of god unbelievers are offended by the word of god if you're a believer you should not be offended by the word of god get that word of god in your spirit and obey his word amen uh, able uh, uh be able worship god Abel worshiped God. Then we hear about Enoch. Enoch walked. Enoch walked with God. It says, by faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. Are you one that wants to, wants to please God? Do you desire to please God? Enoch pleased God. And before he was taken, he was commended and, uh, as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is, is, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him or diligently seek him we have Abel a picture of worshiping God doing what God wanted him to do obeying the word of God and God looked at him as righteous amen he got blessed amen God was pleased with Abel then we have Enoch Enoch also means discipline hello Enoch worship God he was walking with God and so he's can you imagine walking with God striving with God and God was so pleased Enoch did not have to die, uh, die. God just took him. Hello, help me somebody. I don't know if they had a memorial service, but I know one thing. The body wasn't there because God took him. Hello. And some may say, uh, oh, no, no, that's a metaphor. No, 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 no. Hello. God said he took Enoch. Hello, help me somebody. He was walking with the Lord. Abel worship. Enoch walked. Verse 7, by faith Noah was warned about things that were not yet seen. In holy fear, he built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. Noah was warned about things not yet seen and holy, in, in holy fear built an ark to save his family, to save his family, to save his family. I want you to catch this. And by his faith... He condemned the world and became an heir of the, of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. Noah worshiped by obeying, walked with the Lord, 
But here's that third W, witness. Abel walked. Excuse me, Abel worshiped. Enoch walked. Noah was a witness. Can you imagine being a preacher and you preaching the same message for a hundred years? Can you imagine you're a preacher and you're preaching the same message? Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. Monday. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. Tuesday. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. Wednesday. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. Thursday. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. Weekend. They partying. He's preaching. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. January come. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. February, March come. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. Year 2000. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. 2005. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. 2010. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. 2019. Get your heart right with God. He's sending a flood. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, was buried and rose on the third day. You must believe that in your heart. Confess it with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. One day Jesus is coming back to pick up his church. He's not coming up or coming back to pick up buildings made by man's hands. He's coming back to pick up the called out ones, ecclesia in the Greek. He's coming back to pick up his church, his bride. He's coming back. I'm trying to tell you something. And when he comes back, he's picking up those who have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior. Get your heart right. He's coming back. I'm trying to tell you something. You do not want to miss that train. You don't want to miss that cloud. I say train from a song. You know, this train is bound for glory, this train. Choo, choo, this train is bound for glory, this train, hey, this train is bound for glory, great God Almighty, new days are dawning, this train, bound for glory, this train, he's coming back, he's going to pick up his church, and we're going to meet him in the clouds in the air, see, I think that's awesome, you know what I'm saying, there ain't no weight, you don't have to worry about how much you weigh, you don't have to worry about the, <laughs> the color of your skin, you ain't got to worry about being too skinny or overweight. Hello, help me somebody. God's coming back to pick up his church, and we're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. So glory be to God. While you are still here on earth, take care of this temple. The temple belongs to the Lord. Amen. You want to be in good shape so you, God can use you to continue to preach the gospel, the good news. Hello. What is the good news? Hello. Well, let me start with the bad news. The bad news is that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of, good, uh, of God. The bad news is the wages of sin is death but glory be to god he put a but there he said but the gift of god is eternal life that's the good news for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life he didn't say uh those who are black those who are white or caucasian those who are hispanic or asian <laughs> hello help me somebody <laughs> oh for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, is there any whosoever's on the line tonight? Is there, if you are whosoever, he wants you to know that he loves you so much. Jesus died on the cross for your sins and my sins, was buried and rose on the third day, and his arms is wide open. He says, come unto me. If you call on the name of Jesus, you will not be put to shame. You got to call on his name by faith. You got to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ by faith. You got to receive him by faith and understand. Don't stop there. He says, ask for the Holy Ghost. Ask for the Holy Ghost. If you ask for the Holy Ghost, will he give you a rock or fish now you have not because you ask not it's what he says in the book of james we need the holy ghost the enemy didn't want you to know about the holy ghost the holy ghost is god the holy ghost is our teacher the holy ghost is our comforter the holy ghost is our counselor john chapter 6 says we will all be taught by god glory be to god thank god for the holy ghost thank god for the blood that was shed on calvary for the remissions of our sin thank god for the name that, that, that the name of jesus the power that's in the name of jesus the love that's in the name of jesus the faith that's in the name of jesus mercy in the name of Jesus grace in the name of Jesus healing in the name of Jesus provision in the name of Jesus protection in the name of Jesus and a guarantee 
through the power of the Holy Ghost that you that we belong to God and we will see him as he truly is one day in the name of Jesus that we will be picked up and meet him in the clouds in the air one day in the name of Jesus we're on the right team the right side if you believe in Jesus doesn't matter about your color of your skin the language that you speak if you belong to Jesus Christ we should be speaking the same language the only way to the fathers to the son we should be speaking the same language the one and only true God sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins was buried and rose on the third day we need to speak the same language walk by faith and not by sight Speak the same language. I'm the head, not the tail. Above and not beneath. The lender and not the borrow. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Because if God be for us, who can be against us? And I'm going to close with this. Romans 8, 28. Receive this by faith. God causes all things that's going on in your life, my life, our life. He causes all things to work for the good of those who love him. We're called according to his purpose. You belong to Jesus. You belong to God. The Holy Ghost is in you. He says, you have not because you ask not. Ask God for big things. We got to reach this world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Ask God for big things so he can respond to you with big results. Ain't eternal life big? You want to accept Christ as Lord and Savior? You need to accept him. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose on the third day. If you're ready for that, repeat after me. Father, I do believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins, was buried and rose on the third day. Lord, I repent of my sins. I invite you to my heart to be my Lord and Savior. In the name of Jesus, save me. You believe in your heart? You just repeated that prayer. Glory be to God. Heaven rejoices when one sinner repents. I said heaven rejoices when one sinner repents. Let me say it again. Heaven rejoices when you repent. Glory be to God. God loves you. We love you. Thank you for tuning in to Dream Big and Make It Happen Ministries. God loves you. We love you. God bless you.